What's up you guys? So today I am going to do just a quick video um, about like dirty pour ribbons. I really think they're lovely and I don't ever get to do them because every time I do a dirty pour it's like at the very end and there's just too much going on already. So I want to do a negative space piece dirty pour. So far, I have mixed my Art Coat, which is a one-to-one -one resin, uh, which means it's equal parts hardener and equal parts um, resin. And this was Art Coat. You can get it on our website, artistilldeath.com. I have mixed it for the recommended three to five minutes. If you're new to resin, you're going to see a lot of bubbles in it. That's perfectly normal. Absolutely nothing to freak out about. totally normal. We're going to hit it with a little bit of heat and get all those bubbles out of there. So I'm pouring out into my little color cups. The amount of resin you put in each cup depends on how much of that color you want represented in the piece. And let's see, looks like you guys are a little bit blown out in this video. better. Okay. So the first color I'm going to use is light aquamarine by color obsession. You can get that on our website, artistildeath.com right here is our email address and artistildeath.com is our website, our shop where you can find all of the colors that I'm using today. This is an awesome blue. It's got a little bit more aqua in it than it's showing on the camera, but not by a whole lot. Anytime you get a paste, you want to stir it up and make sure everything's all mixed together. I really like working with paste because they don't dilute or anything like that um, if you manipulate your resin a whole lot I'm not going to be doing that much manipulating so um, I'm gonna also be using a powder it's a really it's like just on, it's like if you mix Tiffany and powder blue. Next color is Mountain Mist. It is by Resin Art. You can find it on our website as well. This is actually, it looks like a powder, but she calls it a dry paste. And when you look at the particles, it looks like it's just gonna be a glitter that isn't gonna mix in very well, but it actually mixes in really nicely. I don't know how she does it, but it always melts in super well. I always overload my powders a little bit. It's not that necessary, but I always do. The recommendation for adding color to a resin is about 10%. Look, it's already all mixed in there. It's got this awesome, like, holographic y sparkle to it. I can't even focus on it, it's so sparkly. But I have this color as well on my website, artistildeath.com. Uh, next color is going to be Color Obsession Snow White. up. And the last color is black by Just Resin. Looks 
like tar. I love how creamy pastes are too. Is that a weird word to describe resin paint? Probably. It's fine. Nice, rich black color. I went ahead before I did this video, I spray painted this cradle board that you can also get on our website, artistoldet.com. I spray painted it um, with Montana's black, Montana gold in the color black. Let's move these aside. And the next thing I'm gonna do is grease the pan. I call it grease the pan, but I don't know what anybody else would call it. Basically, it's where I go ahead and prep my canvas with a base layer of a clear or a color. Today, it's going to be with this glitter by Just Resin. It's called Halo, and it is all of the colors of all of the awesome glitters. It's super, super fine, so be careful because it'll go everywhere if you're not being cautious. <laughs> Love the halo. It picks up every color. And it's just like an LED disco ball. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna focus. Oh well, you get the hint. So, let's get our disco ball on. Does it count as negative space if it's all sparkly like this? Let me know down in the comments. Okay. I got you guys over here because of this. Maybe that'll be better. Super shiny, super sparkly is what I was going for. Looks like I'm gonna get that wish. Also looks like I might need to mix up a little bit more of this sparkly resin. I'll just mix it into here. quite as much into this. It may look a little bit different when I put it down, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm trying to push it all the way up to the edge, but not over. Since this is a right angle board, it's not uh, beveled on the edge. It should just go up to the edge and stop. Just dome and not roll over. Because I don't want any of my design to flow off the piece. So because there's glitter in it, you can kind of see where my hand is gone. So you could do like a design of some sort if you wanted to kind of like an etch-a-sketch. Let's see, what kind of design could we do? Or could I make it absolute void of design and just... Just 
doesn't look like I'm going to end up getting it voided design, so we're going to have to come up with something. Let's see. But maybe just a hint of it if we just kind of etch a sketch that away. There we go. Let's put some heat on it and see if it relaxes some. Usually when you hit um, things with glitter or a pigment with heat, it'll thin the resin. And so then your particles like the glitter in this will sink. So if you want it to stay more um, towards the top, use less heat. Just a little pro tip for y'all. I think there's something in here. There we go. Now I'm going to attempt to dirty pour everything else. I think. Mm. Let's just leave it in here. I will pour some of the purple in. Some of the light aquamarine. And then some of the white. Put a dot of the other ones over it. Now we'll just stir it. I just want to give it some kind of little design for when it starts to come out. I've never done this before. It may turn out, it may not. But it's kind of one of my favorite things about working with resin. You can only control so much. black really took over. Let's just make up another pour real quick. And we'll put it, I don't know, let's see how this one turns out while I'm mixing this up. heat on it and see what happens. Looks like it's going to react a little bit, huh? Okay. I wasn't going to do anything, but now I feel like I need to. It doesn't look good, we'll just tilt it off. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come 
come back through it. Now I'm going to work it out a little bit. It's kind of like flames almost. Picking up some purple from this edge. I like it. It's a very different for my style. It's the most negative space thing I've ever done. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it here. I'll do a true color video as well. guys thanks for watching you kind of want another you never know what someone may be going through